Hassan Avi's witness, he is basically the right kind of guy to, to, he is like our Donald Trump. He's like the leftist Donald Trump, I guess. You know what I mean? If there was ever one. Here's the top governor, Jesse Ventura, being a legit hot There should Avi. not be one billionaire in America. I love him. We're going to have Jesse Ventura on None. leftovers, hopefully. And I'll tell you why. Because there is nobody that works hard enough to earn a billion dollars. And my argument is this. The two God. jobs I did... He's such a fucking ledge, dude. Absolute ledge. God, I love him so much. In my life that were physically the most demanding and mentally the most difficult that I ever did, paid me the least amount of money. One was going through buds, and I challenge any billionaire to put up with six weeks of that shit at $62 every two weeks, you know? And the second was right before I went in the Navy. I had a job with the Minnesota Highway Department couple bucks above minimum wage. I worked for the bridge crew, and you know what my job was? I worked a four-day work week, 10 hours a day, so I could have Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the weekend. You're 18. Of course you're going to do that. But I worked 40 hours in four days on the bridge crew, and guess what I did? Ran the 80-pound jackhammer. I challenge any billionaire to, to run the jackhammer for 40 hours one week and tell me he works harder than that. No, he doesn't. That's why I believe there should not be a billionaire in the world. He's so sick. Oh, I love him. And um, before everybody says, like, oh, he's a conspiracy theorist, I don't care. I love him for the conspiracy theories as well. Can't trust him. I don't, I'm not friends with anyone I don't trust. I have to have a trust with someone to be their friend. And uh, he's the one that ratted me to Vince when I tried to unionize. I would, would I vote for Jesse Ventura? In a heartbeat. I wouldn't even think about it. I illegally voted for Jesse Ventura uh, in the last uh, presidential election. I wrote him in. I found that out under federal deposition when Vince was put under sword. And he didn't hesitate at all. I told my lawyer the story. And in deposition, you could ask about anything. And so I wanted to know who ratted me in the locker room because there were no agents. No one from the office was in there when I did it. So it had to be one of the boys. And when my attorney said, is there... Writing in isn't illegal? Come on. Yeah, no, I, vote, I wrote it in illegally because I went to uh, old folks' homes in the state of California and I beat up all the old people and stole all their ballots. And then I wrote, uh, in Jesse Ventura's name on all of their ballots. Yeah. Mr. McMahon, has there ever been a union in wrestling? And Vince said, no. He said, has anyone ever tried to? And Vince said, well, I think Jesse Ventura spouted his mouth off about it once or once before. And my attorney said, did you hear Mr. Ventura? No. Well, then how do you know he did? With no hesitation, Vince went, Hulk Hogan told me. And I didn't show any emotion, but I almost tipped over in the chair because he was my friend. And I thought, but then I understand why. When we went to court, I saw in WrestleMania 3, Hogan got paid more than all of us combined. Now, why would he want a union when he's getting taken care of? Imagine that, WrestleMania 3. 93,000 people, and he got more than Andre the Giant and all the rest of us combined. If there was a union, would that happen? No. Yeah, Hulk Hogan's a piece of shit. God, I love him. I love Jesse Ventura so much. On April 9th, 2011, when Piers Morgan of CNN asked Ventura for his official view of the events of 9-11, Ventura said, My theory on 9-11 is that we certainly... At the best, we knew it was going to happen, brother. They allowed it to happen to further their agenda in the Middle East and go to these wars. I didn't get through Bud's training to go out there and protect the goddamn poppy field in Afghanistan. Stick the Trump impressions? Shut up.
It's official. The U.S. Supreme Court has blocked the lower court restrictions on abortion pill mifepristone while litigation proceeds. The funniest shit was the Chris Kyle lawsuit. Yes, I will forever. I will forever defend Jesse Ventura no matter what because of how he defended himself successfully against the slanderous lies that Chris Kyle told about him. Chris Kyle lied and said, I mean, Chris Kyle lied a lot for the record. I mean, he's a fucking massive liar. Most Navy SEALs that write books are liars. That's just almost all of, actually all, uh, fuck it, I'll say it. All Navy SEALs that write books, except for Jesse Ventura, are liars, okay? They lie all the time. They greatly exaggerate what they've done. They take credit for shit that they didn't do, unless it's like literally about, uh, I don't know, if they... If a Navy SEAL were to take credit for, like, uh, you know, destroying a Black Hawk helicopter, then I would believe them. Chris Kyle was a hero, brother. No, he wasn't. Chris Kyle, American sniper, who, uh, you know, they made an entire movie about his, like, lies. And then they made it seem like it was real. But anyway, um, fucking uh, Chris Kyle lied about beating Jesse Ventura in a bar fight. And Jesse Ventura sued him for defamation. And then Chris Kyle died because he was, like, working on other vets with PTSD and taking them to the gun range. And guess what? You know? Guess what happens when you take fucking PTSD adult vets to the gun range? They kill you, okay? And that's what happened. One of the dudes literally killed him. And, I mean, he he lied a lot. Like, uh, Chris Kyle lied a lot about a lot of shit. He lied in very racist ways. Anyway, fuck him. He's a piece of shit. Uh, gigantic monster. Awful guy. Chris Kyle protected the Capitol during the Hurricane Katrina. No, he didn't. <laughs> he lied. He lied about... He, he lied about shooting black people off the top of the Superdome. Okay? Like, he literally said that he did that, which wasn't even the truth. There were people that actually took guns out and killed a bunch of people that they considered to be looters, for the record. But Chris Kyle was not one of, their, one of those people. But he, that didn't stop him from lying about it, which was insane. Absolutely insane thing to lie about. Anyway, fuck him. He's, a, he's an absolute, absolute monster piece of shit. Fuck that guy. Uh, but yeah, after he died, Jesse Ventura did not stop suing him and successfully sued his estate for defamation and won. And then people were very upset at him, and they were like, why the fuck are you suing Jesse Vin... I mean, uh, why the fuck are you suing Chris Kyle's, like, wife? Like, why are you suing his widow? And he was like, I'm not suing the widow. I'm suing the estate, and it's because he fucking lied. So, yeah, he's just... He's the goat. I love him. He is exactly the... The thing is... Seeing... He is exactly the right amount of stubborn. You know what I mean? He's such a fucking goat. Uh, He is an incredibly stubborn guy. Um, He's always been pretty fucking woke on a lot of, like, uh, you know, civil libertarian uh, things. That's it. He's great. I mean, dude, you're talking about a guy who was a fucking Navy SEAL um, who then, you know, went into fucking professional wrestling, became a governor, like... It doesn't get any better than that. Like, he's just the GOAT. I also think he's the type of dude who could... Do you think he could be president? No. Uh, unfortunately, America's not ready for that. Okay? But the reality is, I, I, I would vote for him if he actually ran for president. That's number one. Number two, um, I mean, he would never run on the Democratic Party ticket, I don't think. Uh, that's the other uh, issue there. I don't know. I just, I feel like, you know, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like it would be sick, though. Uh, like, if he, he is the, he is basically the right kind of guy to, to, he is like our Donald Trump. He's like the leftist Donald Trump, I guess. You know what I mean? If there was ever one. Like, a really unique dude with a lot of psychotic perspectives in many respects, but also is like, uh, his heart's in the right place overall. I don't know. He'd be great. Doesn't he have some conspiracy theory weirdo takes? He does. 
which literally I think would genuinely be a benefit. I'm not even kidding. I think that his weirdo conspiracy theory takes would make him relatable and would probably make him more likely to win. Yeah, I mean, here, here. The numbers here. speak for themselves. Were you high when you sued Chris Kyle's widow? Was I high? You know, that's a question, and I expect it from someone from Fox. Just no. A serious question. No, no, it ain't. Well, I'm glad no, it ain't, because I never sued the widow. I sued him. Okay, well, she's suffering a lot of pain. Right? No, she isn't. How do you know that? Because insurance pays for it all. She hasn't paid one cent. How do I know it? It's my case. So you stand the case, by that? The case got overturned because the truth came out. Insurance is paying for all of it. It isn't costing his family a cent. That's the way legal works if you do your homework. Would you apologize to her? No. She should apologize to me for yes! the lie that her husband told about me. Thank Why you. would I apologize? I didn't do anything. You only apologize if you've done something wrong, pal. Pal? Dude, come on, dude. What a fucking legend, dude. God, he's so sick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here.